Hey guys, what's up? Just had lunch at Harvest Moon. That was pretty good. We didn't show you the food. You're gonna have to come for yourself to see it. We're gonna walk around on old Broad Street, Broad Street in Rome, Georgia. This is just like a, I guess like the main street, the old street that used to be pretty popular back in the day. It's got a bunch of old stores and stuff. This is what we're doing. So we're gonna head this way. All right. One thing that's kind of cool about down here on Broad Street, they have a lot of these food places like here, name of this restaurant, it's just a food court, but they've got these outdoor places that you can eat. Feels really cool. We don't have that back where we live. That's nice to be able to just sit outside. We're gonna walk down this way. See what we got. Ooh, you know what? There's a hill over there. I think we might go up there. That's gonna be cool. We're not staying on this street, even though this street is cool. We'll be back. But there's more stuff to see, and that's where we're going. So we've made it to this hill. This is Myrtle Hill, Myrtle Hill Cemetery. Going up these steps. Behind us here. Come up, we've come up some steps already. Going up a few more up this hill. And technically this is called South Rome, Soro. You've heard of Soho? I don't know what Soho stands for, but this is South Rome, Soro. Myrtle Hill Cemetery. This is neat. As we go on up to the top of this hill, Myrtle Hill, we have gone quite, quite a ways up. If you can see, still got a little ways to go. You can see it's a pretty nice view of town. It's actually a really nice view of town from up here. But anyways, we're gonna I guess just walk around looking at some of these old some of these old graves are really cool. They're pretty old. I mean there's 1925. That's a that's a ways back. Whew! A little winded coming up the hill there. Wow. Check that view out. It's quite a view. This is quite the cemetery. With quite the views and the interesting headstones. All types of different years and stuff. And it's cool that it's on such a big hill. It's kind of crazy. It's such a nice view. It's crazy. Trees, look at that tree coming out of a rock. How weird is that? We went up one side and started walking around and there's a lot more, there's a lot more to it. It just keeps going on around and around. And even like way down there, there's a ton of headstones and stuff. That one's not stone, it's made out of metal. That's interesting. Huh, how weird is, I don't know if I've ever seen a metal one before. It's pretty weird. Man, just look at this place. Man, all these crazy, like, angels and stuff. It's pretty spooky. Oh man, look at this one. They almost look like they're s sinking in. This is not a place I would like to visit at nighttime. No way, Jose. So we've kind of made our way towards the top here. And here's a grave of Colonel Daniel R. Mitchell. He's one of the founders of Rome. And gave the city its name in the year 1834. Might just make our way all the way to the very top. Let's see what the view's like. Man, check that out. Little columns there. I wonder if that's people's name. Oh yeah, it is. The hills. It's fitting. It's fitting for where we're at. But here we are at the very top. And it has this column pillar monument here. Myrtle Hill Cemetery. This is established as the second city cemetery in 1857. Nearby, on this peak, lie buried Colonel Zachariah Hargrove and Colonel Daniel Mitchell, who we saw a minute ago, two of the city's founders on the Axon family lot, is buried Ellen Lou Axon, the first wife of former President Woodrow Wilson. This tablet was placed here, the Rome Area Heritage Foundation, 1975. That's pretty, pretty cool. All right, we're on the search for a particular grave that's supposed to be in this in this graveyard, but we can't find it. We've looked all around. It said it's by a plot that had a weathered angel. Well, there's a whole heck of a lot of those here. <laughs> Going up and down, it's pretty tough. It's a grave of the human bunny. Yeah, yeah, you heard that right. The human bunny. But alas, we've failed. We did not find it. 
not for a lack of trying, because we searched high and low. Here we are, left feeling oh, defeated. We didn't really come here to see that. We just happened to see that it was here, so we thought we'd try to find it. We're gonna leave the human bunny for somebody else to discover. We're just looking at the old, old graves, how old some of them are. Time for us to head back, back down the hill. We'll see you at the bottom. This was fun. All right, guys. So earlier, we came to this Myrtle Hill Cemetery. We we're looking for the human bunny. We were defeated, couldn't find it. So we decided to try coming back again after doing a little bit of research. We found a dot on the map that should help us. <laughs> Noises, that's cool. Even though it's kind of scary and it's getting closer to dark, I think we're gonna find it. I feel like we're gonna find it. The human bunny. No, not here yet. And just a little bit about the human bunny. It's this lady who, when she was a kid, a child, she was, she was an old lady when she passed away, but whenever she was a child, she got this bunny, right? As a gift, one of her birthday presents, it was a gift. For her, it was life size at the time, and she named it Human Bunny. She had it, she kept it her entire life. Her whole life, she kept that thing. And her family decided, you know what, we're gonna bury her with that because she loved that thing so much. So on her grave, it actually says something Wyatt, I think. Nellie Wyatt. I think Nellie Wyatt was her name. And then just below it, on the, say, on the same stone, was Human Bunny with the same date of death. It's pretty interesting, right? It's really curious to see. I mean, once you hear the story, it's really not that like weird or anything. When you first hear about the story that, oh, there's a grave of a human bunny, you think, what in the world is a human bunny? We still gotta find it, <laughs> which we have not found it yet. And it's getting dark and spooky to be wandering around a huge, old, amazing, but spooky graveyard. Any of these? No. 18, what is that? 1884, died 1884. That's kind of neat. Oh, somebody's trying to escape. It's supposed to be, I don't know around here somewhere. It's not an old gravestone, but it is on the ground, like flat on the ground if you're looking for it. Like one of these, one of these flat ones like that. It's gonna be like that. Who knows, we might find something else spooky while we're here if we're not careful. Oh, what is this, Petro, Petropole? Petropole? Huh, interesting. Wow, some of these are really beautiful and ornate and old. She hath done what she could. That's what that one said. And there's a lot of young ones too. 14 years, 14 years old. Here, no, nope, not these. No, nope. there are Montgomery's here. Magruder. I hear some yelling off in the distance, I think. I hope that's something else. Ooh, look at this one. Wow, that's an old one. 1858. That's pretty crazy. I don't know how we're supposed to do what? Wait. Wyatt? This might be. I think we're looking for a Wyatt here. Oh, there it is. There, there it is. Nell Allison Wyatt, born March 22nd, 1925, died January 30th, 2009, and her human bunny buried with her in here on her eighth birthday, March 22nd, 1933, died with her 
January 3rd of 2009. Her friend till the end. How about that? There we go. Now there's the mystery of the human bunny right there. What an adventure. What a quest to try and find this thing. It actually, I don't know why it was so difficult to find because it says Wyatt. It says Wyatt right there. And that's, uh, that's pretty much what we were looking for because we knew that it was Nell Allison Wyatt was the name of the person with the human bunny. We tried to do this earlier and we gave up because we couldn't find it and uh, we, had, we had other things to go do. But after a little more research, we decided we, we had a chance of finding this thing and we did it. We did it. There it is. So time for us to get out of here because it's getting dark and a little spooky. So we're going to we're going to call it Splitsville. All right. See you later. As far as we're concerned. That's pretty cool. All right. So. Myrtle Hill Cemetery was pretty sweet. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Human bunny. Check it out. Look it up. We're going on this trail here, this little walking path. We're going to go uh, across this neat old bridge. So apparently at one time, this little walking path here, this was, this was the main railroad. There's a river down beside us. I don't know if you can see that down there. But this railroad would go up over. In order for the ships to pass through, had to have a swing bridge, which is like a bridge that, you know, like... I guess swing sideways, I guess, I don't know, twist, really. Railroad shut down on this part, so they turn it into a walking path, but they still have the bridge here. And here it is. I didn't realize this, all these locks. There's a ton of them. I guess that's a thing that you do is put locks on the bridge to, uh, you know, showcase your commitment or love or something or whatever. There's a whole lot of locks here. They should change this name to the lock bridge. Just just the bridge itself is really cool. But keep in mind, if you do want to put a lock on, it's only permitted on the fence. This is actually a pretty high bridge. This bridge, this, this bridge is pretty high. Just another neat thing. Just in case things don't work out and you lose your key, and you need to change things out, there is a safe lock and key store right over there. Just in case, so don't worry about feeling too committed. There's also <laughs> the option of manually dismantling the fence just in case things don't work out. So there's that. All right, real quick, this was pretty crazy. We've got all these locks down here on this fence, like this right here. Look at this. That's, that's impressive there. All right, so we came walking down the street, one of the back roads blocked down, down to this cool fountain. We tried to come back here the other night. As soon as we started walking down the block here, the bell tower started dinging. And as soon as that 10th bell dinged its last dang dung, water shut down. But just keep that in mind. Pretty sure it shuts down at 10 o'clock sharp. It's hot outside. So we stopped in this place called a Rock and Roll Ice Cream Rolls. What is a Rock and Roll Ice Cream Roll? We're about to find out. Looks like we pour some liquid ice cream. Oh, and then pour it all on there. Apparently this is how you how you make an ice cream roll. Really cold table. And you put the cream on there. I'm not sure where the rolls come in yet. Just looks like ice cream. Spread it out. Okay. Okay. So that oh. there I get it. Look at there. Ice cream rolls. Check that out. It's like an egg roll. But it's an ice cream roll. Well, here's JR's here. He opted for the cookies and cream. It's basically a chocolate chip cookie in there that they've crushed up. Watch this. They're going to roll it. They're going to roll it right up here. Just a minute. Oh, yeah. That's kind of pleasing. 
That's like it's like one of those fancy internet videos where, you know, it's one of those, those pleasing videos. It's just really nice to watch. Huh. Now that's pretty cool. We stopped at a neat little coffee shop called Swift and Finch. They make their own coffee and everything, so that's pretty neat. Now we've come to this hill at the top of downtown Rome. What am I looking up at? That. That's the historic clock tower standing up above Rome. But this is the Old Town Clock Museum. Since 1872, the original mechanical clockworks that serve as the centerpiece of this museum have been keeping time in Rome's most famous landmark, the Old the old Town Clock. There's a 250,000 gallon water tank that once served the residents of Rome. So it used to be a, a water tower situated on one of Rome's seven hills in the center of the city. So this is, so that's kind of neat. There's seven hills in the city. This is one of them. This used to be a water tower. Now it's just a clock tower. Just keep in time. The Rome Clock Tower. Yep. That's some pretty nice views. Take it all in. There's a chapel there. And look, oh look, over there, there's, there's the Myrtle Hill Cemetery that we were on just a little bit ago. I guess that's one of the other hills. This is one of seven. That must be two of seven. I think this is pretty much it. This this has been kind of a long one. Just roaming around Rome. Downtown Rome. Main Street Rome. Broad Street. I've really enjoyed it. It's been really, really cool. So if you liked it, give us a like. If you want to subscribe, definitely subscribe. Because there's going to be more. If you really, really liked it, go ahead and share it. That'd be really cool. Help us out a lot. Guys, we'll see you in the next one. Where and when, we don't know yet. But don't forget, as far as we're concerned, that's pretty cool.